Andy West, and in this video, I'd like to show you how you can prepare a solid model for manufacture. Now, please note that all 1CNC systems give you the ability to machine solid models. There's no extra cost for this, but the difference between systems is that some systems will allow you to create solid models. All right. Now, in this uh, system, this happens to be a Mill Express system. Though we cannot create solid models, we certainly can load them in. We can prepare them for manufacture, and then we certainly can apply toolpath to them. So for this video, again, we're going to load a solid model and prepare it for manufacture. So let's get started. I'm going to head up here and select File, Open. And the type of solid model I'm going to load is a step file. And I have this step file saved on my desktop. So let's go to Step. And there it is. I'm just going to double click that. When you start to execute the command, you get this little dialog box. I'm just using the default, which is read surfaces and solids, and click OK. Once CNC interrogates the solid model, if there were any errors, they would be listed up here. And you can see there were no errors and that the file was read successful. As soon as I click Finish, One CNC will center the solid model on our screen, and so there it is. Now, the first thing I think I'd like to do is change the color. All right, so to so to uh, change the color, we need to select the geometry first. The easiest way to do that is come up here and use this command called Select All. As soon as I click that, everything on the screen becomes selected. Now, another technique or a shortcut is just hit Control A on the keyboard. Control A, that will also select all. Now, I'm going to head down here to Modify, and let's just pick kind of a different color. Let's go with gold, and we'll click OK to that. And if we now deselect our solid, we can see we've changed the color to gold. Now the next step is to create geometry. All right, And we need to create geometry from all these different edges that we want to machine. Now to make things a little bit easier, I think I want to hide this construction plane marker. That's this green square that you see here. To do that, just come down here and select plane, and then just uncheck the display radio button, and then click close. When you do that, the construction plane marker will hide. To create geometry from your solid model, you have some tools up here that will definitely help you out. The first tool is called Extract an Edge. This will create geometry uh, one, one edge at a time. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to hover over this edge and left click. And then I'm going to hover over that little circular edge and left click. And let's left click that one. When I'm finished, I'll right click. And now you can see that one CNC has created these three edges here. I've got a linear edge and I've got two circular edges. I want to show you a faster way, so I'm going to hit the undo button to undo those edges. Let's come up here now and instead of extract an edge, let's use this tool called extract surface edges. This is much faster. This is brand new to XR3 actually. We're going to click this. Just take your cursor and hover over the surface that you'd like and then you left click and as soon as you do that you have edges at all the boundaries. Let's do that again. We're going to extract surface edges. I'm going to hover over here and left click. That looks great. So now I really have all the geometry I need for manufacture now and that was done very quick. The next thing to do is to move our geometry in the proper location for manufacture. I'm going to switch over to a CAD view and you can see that our datum, the X0, Y0, Z0 is right here. I really would like to move our geometry so that the X0, Y0 is right up here at this uh, theoretical intersection of both these edges. The theoretical intersection of the horizontal edge and the vertical edge. Now you can see I don't have any geometry right here and I really do need some type of geometry to help me move this. I suppose I could use the center of this hole to help us move it, but let me show you a technique for creating geometry at this intersection. Let's head here to our trim tool. We'll select trim 2. I'm going to grab this edge and then this edge. And as soon as I do that, you can see we have a nice intersection there. All right. Now, I need to reselect all my geometry again, so I'm going to hit control A on the keyboard. Let's come up here to move. I don't need to make a copy. I don't need to scale it or move it to a layer, so I'm going to leave all these blank. I'm going to click OK. And now one CNC says pick the position to start from. Well, I want to start from this corner, this endpoint right here. So I'm going to select endpoint, take my cursor and just left click. Now what I'd like to do is take all this geometry and move it so this endpoint actually ends up at the X0, Y0, Z0 coordinate. So for my copy to location, I'm going to select coordinate and make sure we have X0, Y0, Z0, and then we'll click OK. 
And you can see now that very quickly we're able to move the geometry in the proper location. Now if we'd like, what we can do is just trim this these two lines back to where they were originally. So I'm going to go back to trim two. I'm going to grab this line and trim it to that arc. I'm going to grab this line and trim it to the same arc. And so now we're back in shape. So what we did was we loaded our solid model. We created geometry from the edges. And you only have to create geometry on the edges that you want to manufacture. And then after that we selected all the geometry and moved it to the proper location. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video when we'll actually apply toolpath to this. Thanks for watching.